Hiya, hello, it's us again from Mariah. It's Lee and Belinda. A long time coming, but I did promise to do a video um, regarding the history of the chateau itself. And it's taken a while because I wanted to do the research just to make sure that when I'm stating facts, there are facts and they can be proven. Uh, or are there suppositions based on um, actual detail that I found, but going back to the early or where 1500s. Did you, where did you do the research? All then? the research has been done either via local books that I've acquired, the local historic society, <clears throat> and um, obviously the internet, um, and um, family histories and family trees as well from the local area, and by looking at some of the local chateaus as well. But today I think you're going to focus on one specific element of the chateau aren't you that's correct well i thought we've made some discoveries in the, literally in the last two or three weeks while i've been carrying out this mm. research which has completely changed my view on what mm. <clears throat> what we've actually got yeah, here it's fascinating and actually. that's what i want to expose today and, and share with you so today we're going to be talking about the turret which is just behind us i'm going to be filming today um give lee a break what am i going to be filming well, um, what I'm going to do is uh, tell you some of the history that I found about the turret and do some comparisons. Uh, and then we're going to go on an internal tour right up into the attic where no one's really been apart from me and Belinda. Um, a few privileged and friends. And a few privileged <laughs> friends, yeah. Uh, and then go up oh. into the watchtower at the top and uh, see what the views are like. Oh, yeah. There. I've only and been then, up there once. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't like the spiders. Oh, the dead and the flies. Cobwebs and the dead flies, Ooh. yeah. Which I don't mind, actually. Oh. I mean... It's okay. So we know we know this place was first inhabited by a guy called Jean the First of Marais uh, in uh, 1494. Well, that's the day. I I'm pretty sure we're pretty sure he was in he was living here before then. Yeah. But that's the first recorded date we've got yeah. of him living here. And the place would have obviously been constructed before then because mm. he had to be here for him to move in. Yeah. Uh, it was a medieval fortress. It was designed to um control and uh, rule over the feuding hordes that were in the three different districts locally. Uh, and, and that will be something about the st strategic positioning of it high above the river won't yeah, it Lee? so yeah. there was a good view basically yeah. over the surrounding countryside so uh, people couldn't just clamber up the clamber up the banks and attack the chateau without being seen lots of visibility okay so the central feature is obviously the turret um, I'm just going to show the turret, Lee. Yeah, and one of the things that I noticed on the turret was you can see right at the top there's some square holes. Um, so come in a bit close. You've got to come in a bit closer. Yeah. I've, I've, actually, what I'll do is I'll take some photos and paste some photos yeah, on with this as well. Yeah, I think that's a idea. Yeah. So you can see at the top of the turret, and the photo will come up on screen in a minute, showing the there's a series of holes. Now, I thought these were original cantilever positions for a scaffolding tower, a medieval scaffolding tower. But I've learned from reading books that the, um, you'll notice there's a set of holes about three metres below, which exactly align parallel to the top set of holes. And the reason for that was the top set of holes were a cantilever for a flooring and the bottom set of holes was the support for the flooring. And originally that tower would have had what's called a hoarding coming out, which was a medieval um, platform running around the top of the tower, uh, which floor opened up and they allowed them to throw rocks, rocks down or water. Boiling oil. Or boiling oil, yeah. I mean, oh, no, more, more for this sort of thing would have been if people would have put this under siege and tried to set fire mm. to it, then they can pour water from the top of the tower to the base to put the fire out or throw rocks down. So I thought that the, um, the easiest thing to describe this is to look at it in three dimensions of how the hoarding would have worked. So what I've done is made a very primitive model of this. So primitive? That you can, yeah, it's quite a crude you've, model. You've taken ages over that. Yeah, it can't but be that it, primitive. It, it, it's the point of the model is to show the difference between the tower <laughs> is now and how it would have been. So <clears throat> this model is illustrating the fact that there would That's have been really good, a cantilever platform with a timber frame around take it. Take a look at that. Hold on a minute. Let me just take a look at that. So what we've got here is this is the tower as it is at the moment, as you can see in the background. I'm just going to show the tower. And then yeah. the cantilevered platform would have been at the top, so you can see it would have protruded about a metre all the way around. Yeah. 
and then it would have been roofed, something like that, not exactly like that. And then this floor underneath here would have opened up, so if anyone was trying to set fire to it, or even if, if um, invaders were coming here, they could drop rocks down on them to stop them getting access to the um, castle. So that's, that's it. What I'm going to do is some sketches, and I'll show you how this structure works, and they'll flash up on the screen in really a minute. I think that would be really useful to see yeah. that. Uh, I'll get them on where screen. Did you, where did you find out about that? Uh, this was in a book called How to Read Castles yeah. by an eminent professor in historic castles and Lee, also, mansions. Isn't there another castle locally that still has this cladding around Yeah, it? there is. A, we've found one other castle. These hoardings are very rare. They were made out yeah. of timber and over 500 well, years rot and either. fell away. No. Or if they were made out of brick mm. after the um, Crusades, um, a lot of these castles got pulled down or left to go into rack and ruin. So I have found an example of a castle in a place called Tolle, which is about 15, 20 minute road, drive from us. And I've been lucky enough through my research to find one existing photograph of what it was like with the um, uh, hoarding in. And I'm going to flash that up on the screen now for you as well, Great. so you can see. So, <clears throat> Now what I'd like you to do is follow me and let's go for an internal tour of the turret so you can see how the staircase goes mm. up and see what it's like right at the top mm. up there where the roof is. So fortunately the lawn's been cut so the yeah. place isn't looking quite so wild. And we won't let the cats follow us up there. <laughs> oh they love it up there. But Misty Dog will come won't is you she Misty? Coming come too? On, Where's Misty? Come on Misty. Here's Misty. Is Misty. I'm just going to look at Misty. Oh, Misty, Misty come here because she's had a haircut. She's had her haircut. She's looking particularly pretty. <gasps> there you are, darling. Right. And she had a very nice play date with her friend, a good friend, Muppet, the other evening. And they sat on sofa and ate chocolate. No, not chocolate. What was it? It wasn't chocolate. Oh, it was dog treats. Dog treats. <laughs> okay, come on, let's go. Oh, I'm just going to look at my beautiful rose as we go in, Lee. Sorry, can you stand by my beautiful rose? Look at that. This is the most beautiful rose. I She's think, talking about me, you know. I'm a rose amongst in roses. Existence amongst those thorns, isn't that? Fabulous? I'm not a thorn, as some people might think. Come on then, let's go in the chateau. Okay, follow me. So let's go inside. Uh, there might be some light adjustment because it's very bright out there. It's, it's certainly it's very, dark very dark and cool I'll inside. Put a light on. Uh, so this is the medieval staircase. Well, can um, I just show the entrance first, actually? Yeah. This is you the, standing in it. This is the old original door. Yeah. Um, this is about... Look at that key. Two or, two or three that, inches thick. Look at them. This is the original key for it. And it's upside down, which is unusual. Uh -huh. um, and all the original, you can see all the structure of the stairs, the timbers and the stonework. It's going to show up like that. Fabulous, isn't it? I love it. Oh, you can see this underneath of the stairs. Yeah. So we come down. That's the kitchen, and that's the salon over Lee's head. So we think the way that the stairs were constructed, they were made in a series of sections, and each section had this circular um, portion, and each portion, circular portion, was stacked one on top of the other and cemented and the stairs started to make their way around yeah, yeah, yeah. this this um, central it's column. It's so clever really. Yeah and there is a myth that the staircase always un unrolls to one side as you descend and the myth is that it was so that most people were right-handed so their sword hand was it <laughs> but according so to... So they literally be fighting up and down the stairs? I don't think there was ever any fighting here. Yeah. <laughs> but, and I think the, the book I read from this oh. eminent professor um, said that that actually is a myth, it wasn't built like that, they normally just built it the way they wanted it. Mm. So. so let's go upstairs, I mean this has come in really handy this column because the stairs are so worn oh over gosh, five, Show that one stair years. actually, that one is the slipping stone. This is the it? slipping stone, you've got, you've got to be really careful. And in in Ireland get... you've got the kissing stone, yes, and in Barai you've got the slipping stone, stone. and we've had and there's some very many a family member slippy stone after wall. having one or two many sherbets surely not have slipped never yes. not in this house not to their fate up the stairs here there you are um, i'm standing literally outside the prince suite at the moment 
and you, you can see here there's a wooden replacement step going on here so at some point in the building's history this stair collapsed the stonework there's a big crack in this one as well there's misty right behind you and this is yeah misty, misty comes <laughs> she likes the attic right so let's go carry on our journey upwards just to my that's that there is the princess suite in there and Lee is going up the turret stairs and I'm racing after him. Uh, one of the interesting things that we Ooh. found, we found that, I don't know if you can see it on film, but this is a brick, handmade bricks made in Marai. So there was a, a brickwork here at one point and we've uncovered a lot of these while we've been restoring the chateau. So this is the entrance to the attic where no, no guests go. So. Follow me. Sorry it's a bit wobbly but I'm looking down at the stairs so I walk up. Ooh. I'll put some lights on. Yeah. So do come into my attic. Gosh, but I'm just joining the spiders. I can feel all the webs as you I walk like in. Oh, it's really horrible. Can you feel them on your skin? Yes. It's really horrible, isn't it? Ooh. So here we are standing right at the top in the attic space above the main chateau. So. The main bedroom. Shall I show the roof? Oh, sorry. Yeah, show the roof. Let's have a look. I just at want to go above your head. The that's roof structure amazing, is all original, and you amazing. can see look at that. how this was sort of cobbled together, and you can see where the support beam over time has shifted. And in fact, it's sort of warped down there. Ah. Um, and over this side is where the small bedroom is immediately below. Yeah. Uh, through this just area. Just showing yeah. this, just showing this. It's actually quite a big area, it's isn't it? It's huge, yeah, it's huge. It's the whole floor plan of, of the chateau. And this portion here is the, the teapot that goes out the back. Um, and below that is where all the bathrooms are. Would that have been built at a later date, do you think? That we tea think it, portion? it could have been built at a later date, although I'm not so sure because of the, the fact that the castle was built on a rock overlooking mm. a river, I think they probably would have built it all at the same time. This is the main portion of the roof. Now, there's, there's a couple of anomalies in here that I don't understand why. First of all, we've got very deep beams, so they're obvious, they're carrying the weight of the roof through these uh, T, T section beams. Shall I show the roof again? Hold yeah, on. show the roof, have a look at the roof. It is amazing. It's these... Do you know what? It's almost like a cathedral, isn't it, when you look up? Yeah. In fact, some cathedrals do look like this inside, yeah, inside don't they? Inside they do, yeah. These are like, these tiles are hung on with a little clip, Visible. so uh, they're, they're the original tiling, so nothing's been changed. But one of the things I've never really understood is there's a roof light up here. Um, oh gosh, it, look at the spine. I Look know. at the cobwebs! There's always been a roof light up there. Oh, I'm not going any further. And there's actually a handle on that roof light Ooh. to open it, but how you would ever get up there to open it? I, I have no know. idea. No, and there's this staircase here, which leads right up into the apex of the turret. Right, you're going to go which up? Which I'm going to go up now. Belinda, would you like to come up with me? There's lots of flies and spiders up there. Not really, but... So I'll take the filming over from here then, shall I? I tell you what, you take the filming over. Here's the staircase going up. Uh, um, this could get a bit destabilised, the camera, because I'm climbing up a fairly rickety staircase. Uh, but if you are going to come up here, there's a lot of cobwebs up here. Yeah. So here we are uh, in, the, in the turret. And what you can see is the views. There's one of the windows. The views out over the countryside. And you can... What's really good for me is you can see the roof, so I can see if we've got any tiles missing, which is dead handy. So this is facing uh, south, that's south facing that way. And then I'll spin it around and this is going to be north facing. So it's just a circular tower, it's white emulsion, nothing else. And there's the north facing wall and the north facing window. Sorry it's a bit dirty, we don't clean the windows up here that often. And the spiders are magnificent. And there's that funny little roof light that we were looking at in the attic just now. Belinda to, I'm gonna try and encourage Belinda to walk up. So come on Belinda, up you come, be brave, best foot forward. <laughs> this, is, this is literally, the things I do for you, this is the, oh, the second time I've been up. Keep your head 
it down. There's a big so cobweb there. Really There's a big cobweb in that corner. There. <laughs> right. oh, anyway, you made, it. made it. This is the first time you've ever been in <laughs> here. No, I think I've come up. I think I've been up here once. Oh yeah, when we were reviewing to buy, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Just the ones. Oh my yeah. goodness. That's but fabulous. It's all sounds. The views are great. Yeah. I thought we could do up here. Could we do something up here? I can if I do something with the attic, yeah. yeah. I mean, I've heard of stories of people turning these rundles into beautiful shower spaces, wet rooms. I was just thinking of a nice little room to have a, a, library. a library in, actually, that yeah. was my idea. I'll just come down, and I'll film you coming down, but this is quite dangerous because the steps are uneven. And, uh, so, that's one of the bedrooms through there where Belinda's standing. The princess suite. Princess suite. It probably looks very blue because there's a lot of natural daylight coming <laughs> through. And, uh, and there's no lights on inside. You can see. Yeah. Uh, there you go. And then that's. This view here, Lee, of the staircase. Yeah, this is the, the structure. You can see the structure going around and up. Quite oh, good. And then in here. And here. This dark, dark stone colour render is where the um, wooden step was in the field for the broken stone. And the prince suite is here. And the prince suite is here. And the bed's got a new dress on. So this is, we're going to go out now. And uh, this is the main entrance door. And Belinda. By the font. A rose with her rose and font. <laughs> and we'll go back and say goodbye. Do you know, Lee, this is quite inspiring me um, for one of my cookery vlogs because actually this looks like a big mushroom. <laughs> so you could do something with mushrooms. <laughs> Maybe. This is really good. I really like this model. And uh, we've, got, um, we've got two little grandsons, actually. And I think they're going to absolutely love this when they get a bit older. And we were just talking earlier about building a train set, building it as part of our a train set. A little We've got plans train set, yeah. It's with its own chateau. Yeah. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed this history tour. I know they're not as popular as Belinda's cooking vlogs, but so uh, no competition. We... No, no, no. No, I'm, no I wasn't suggesting there it was. <laughs> I just w wanted to make sure that, you know, oh. we're covering all the bases and that people can see a bit more about our home and understand more about the history of it and why we love it so much here. And we're learning as we go along, aren't we? we? Are. That business about the um, the wooden encasement around the turret, it was totally new to me. It was me. totally we new. I found out about it three weeks ago. So and we were going to do this film about three weeks back and then I found this and I thought, I've got to research this. this is such an exciting discovery for us. So, And we just wanted to share it with you. So I really hope you've enjoyed watching this vlog. Thanks for watching And us. thank you for watching and thank you for all your support. And we'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.